Yesterday, Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen humiliated Victoria and embarrassed Australia. And we've seen the international reaction to this debacle around the cancellation of the Commonwealth Games. Uh, we've seen overnight, internationally, uh, Victoria has been brought into disrepute. It looks reckless. It is reckless. Today, given the debacle around the cancellation of the Commonwealth Games, uh, my deputy David Southwick and I have written to Victoria's Auditor General, asking the Auditor General's office to investigate the debacle into the cancellation of the Commonwealth Games. Uh, how much has been spent on it? How much will Victorians now be on the hook for the cancellation of the Games? We estimate on the information we have to hand so far that it's got to be somewhere between a billion and two billion dollars, all wasted because of Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen's complete mismanagement and lies over the Commonwealth Games. For a year or more, they have lied to Victorians, lied to Australians and the world about their capacity to deliver the Commonwealth Games in regional Victoria, including here in Ballarat. Almost daily, they have issued press releases spruiking what they plan to do about the Commonwealth Games. Well, now we realise that the con is up. We now realise that they had no capacity to deliver the Commonwealth Games. And the claims by the Premier that it would cost $7 billion may well be right in the sense that anything under Daniel Andrews seems to blow out and cost more when it's done under him compared to Birmingham and the Gold Coast who were able to run their Commonwealth Games at under $2 billion in each case. But under Victorian leadership of Daniel Andrews, the Com Games would have, according to him, cost around 6 or $7 billion. Well, we want to get behind those comments and look at the actual truth. A hearing in Canberra today has been told the law used to keep the case against Bernard Collari a secret risks undermining confidence in the courts. The Independent National Security Monitor, Grant Donaldson, is reviewing the law and whether it's at odds with open justice. Reporter Elizabeth Byrne has been in the hearing. The National Security Information Act was set up to deal with terrorism cases, but in more recent times has been used in high-profile prosecutions involving national security issues. Bernard Collieri fought his case for four years until the present government discontinued charges, including conspiring to reveal classified information. The delays were caused by complications driven by the demands for secrecy, which included evidence Mr Kaliri and his lawyers were not allowed to see. A key issue in the review is whether the Act takes away too much of the court's discretion. Spy agencies suggested setting up a special division of the federal court to deal with national security cases, although that was quickly dismissed and is unlikely. The hearing was told a looming issue is how the NSI Act will be deployed in foreign interference prosecutions. The hearing will continue tomorrow.